All right, the last thing I want to talk about are the three new vocabulary programs that have come out in uh, 2.0. We have two new versions of Unity. We have a Unity one hit and sequenced in 28 locations, as well as a Unity a one hit and sequenced in 36 locations. So first I'm going to show you those and then I'll talk a little bit about Core Scanner. Um, I've already loaded in the 28 and 36 versions of Unity in my past software. Um, know that they are not um, typically in one of the six active user areas, you do have to load them in. So I've already done that. Um, but if you wanted to, you can do it too by using replace user area. But just for the sake of time, um, I've already done it for you. So I'm going to go into switch user area and you're going to see now that I've got Unity 28 loaded in, uh, 28 one hit, uh, Unity 28 sequenced. Unity 36 one hit as well as Unity 36 sequenced. Like I said, once again, um, when you, the sort of out of the box configuration, these um, new Unity uh, versions are not gonna be in there. So you will have to replace a user area to load them in. Um, but once you do that, you have access to them. So I'm gonna first show you Unity uh, 28 one hit. Say okay, and then go to home. So now we're looking at uh, 28 one hit. We have uh, similarly to the 45, 60, 84, and 144 one hit, we have one hit core vocabulary. So we have core words at the bottom like I and feel and drink and stop and don't and what. I can say eat, cracker, drink, water, color, red. The other thing you're going to notice is the activity row is going to look a little different sort of in its home configuration. You'll see that we no longer in the 28 and 36 versions have the um, me activity, the about me activity or greetings activity um, or that device activity that you're used to seeing in this activity row. The team decided to um, have core vocabulary in its place instead of those activities just because in both 28 and 36 we don't have a lot of real estate to represent good core vocabulary so they wanted to use those uh, locations to represent some nice um, high frequency words of communication so that's how um, a little bit different um, but i think a nice choice the other thing you're going to see that um, in these two versions of unity this purple shade is going to mean it's going to link to a page but that also means that this page is going to close after you say a word okay um, if you want that page to stay open you're going to have to hit hold page but anytime you see a purple page link it is going to um, head back to core so if i head into pages and go into my animals and i say the word dog, dog. you're going to see because that was a purple page link it was going to head back to core if I head back to pages and go to calendar time, this blue color, that means that the page is gonna stay open. So I might talk about um, my news, okay? Or I might go to my calendar page and do the uh, calendar routine. Okay, and then I can say go back to core. So that's a really quick look at 28 one hit. Now we're gonna head over and look at 28 sequenced. Switch my user area to Unity 28 sequenced. I'm going to say OK and go to home. Now that we're in um, sequenced, you're going to see that most of the labels on the keys have gone away. That's because it means that that location is going to lead to more asso words associated with that symbol. So for example, if I hit the apple, it's no longer going to say eat automatically. It's going to lead to um, different words associated with that word family of um, food, like the word eat. But we also eat when we're hungry, so we're going to have our word hungry and we eat delicious things delicious. as well as awful things awful. and then we also get our specific foods like chips or grapes. grapes okay and then we get that noun category that word that um general category of food oh. so you'll see that unity pattern one is here green icon to green or apple to green is eat, eat. apple to blue is hungry. hungry apple to um orange is food oh. okay you also get some determiners like the words this and that and these and those that. and prepositions like um, behind and beside and over and in and out and under. under some question words like who what where why when and how um, so that's really nice it's um, access to lots of good core vocabulary at the unity 28 uh, sequence level 
36 one hit and sequenced really act um, feel and act the same way as 28 one hit and sequenced you just have more um, icons or symbols so we're just going to take a really quick look at those user area switch user area uh, unity 36 one hit I'm going to say OK and go to home so you're going to see we have more vo core vocabulary and we have more core symbols um, but the um, vocabulary is really going to function and act the same way as I showed you in 28 one hit. You will see the addition of that spelling keyboard in the 36 one hit. I think that's the only probably thing I want to um, show you and add about this uh, 36 one hit vocabulary. And let's also now just take a quick swing over and look at 36 sequenced. Unity 36 sequenced. Say OK and go to home. You're going to see uh, same um, addition of core symbols, so you're going to get more vocabulary. You do also have your keyboard, so if I hit the apple now, you're going to see that we get some verb tensing just because we have room for it now. In 28 uh, sequence we didn't, in 36 we do, so I can say eat, I can say eats, eating, and ate. The other thing, I get the um, food as well as foods. And then you're going to see that your um, some of your nouns are going to be subcategorized, like vegetables and broccoli. broccoli. Or come into my um, my drinks and say juice. juice. Okay, so I think those are the main differences um, in between the 28 sequenced and 36 sequenced is that you get your verb tensing, which is uh, pretty big. All right. Um, last thing I want to do is talk about uh, core scanner. Core Scanner is a new vocabulary program that PRC is offering and um, how you can take a look at it and play around with it is two things. I would really encourage you to watch the YouTube video uh, we have on Core Scanner. We have a new playlist on the PRC Access YouTube channel and it's called Core Scanner. So it is a wonderful introduction to the language program. So please take a look at that. And if you want to play around with it in the past software, what you're going to do is uh, change the configuration of your past software to Core Scanner, and then you can play around. So let's first change the configuration. And then, um, so I'm going to head into my toolbox to do that. I'm going to go into my maintenance menu. And I'm going to say change product configuration. And from there, I'm going to um, change it to Core Scanner. I'm okay with erasing everything. I haven't made any customizations that I want to keep. Um, and I know I can always set it back to the Unity configuration. So I'm just going to say yes. If you do have um, can customizations you've made, you're going to want to save those before you turn it over to the Core Scanner configuration, just because um, you would lose those customizations. Core Scanner is an AAC language program designed for switch scanning and it is based on the Words for Life vocabulary. Um, Core Scanner is a progressive vocabulary and it's specifically designed for individuals with physical disabilities who best access um, augmentative communication technology through the use of a switch. Like I said, the design is based on the foundations of MinSpeaker Unity and LAMP that have been proven effective for so many people and it really um, follows the following principles. Uh, motor planning, single words, core vocabulary and frequency of use, robust vocabulary needs of um, this population, as well as early access uh, to uh, words and language. Rather than demoing Core Scanner, I am going to provide the link for the YouTube video as I think it really does a great job explaining um, this new language program from PRC. However, what I will say is that if you are going to explore this uh, software in PASS, it is best to do so with switches. So um, if you're using it on a device, please plug in some switches and use it with switches um, because it is designed for use with switches. Or if you're on the PASS software, remember your keyboard um, keys numbers one and two will act as switch number one and switch number two. So with that, I want to thank you for um, watching this and learning about the new features and functions in 2.0. I'm excited about the changes we've made. It really is a big software release for us, and uh, we hope you enjoy those changes as well. Thanks so much, everybody.